Well, hello, hello, hello. It's time for the Word of God. So I hope that you are ready uh, to dig into the Word with us. We're tag teaming again, and uh, we are always excited, always love to yes. uh, spend time in the scriptures for our personal edification, but Absolutely. also just letting you in on uh, our conversation here about the word of God. And so we're, we're still in our series, uh, The God of Wonders, yeah. The God of Wonders. We're still in that series where we've been not just rehearsing the wonders of God, but we've been talking about how God uh, is it's clear through the scriptures that God has chosen to involve man yeah. or to perform his wonders through us human beings. That's right. Through mankind. You see it from the beginning of time. That's right. Where he has chosen to use man to flow his wonders through us. I think you did such an awesome yeah. job, uh, babe, last week because you invited us into uh, step one of being involved into the wonders of God. And you got to address this question that you addressed to us all last week. Mm -hmm. Is there anything too hard for, for the Lord? For the Lord. And that's not a rhetorical question. That's a, that's a question. I believe that every one of us, um, will, will, will encounter, will have to confront and we'll have to answer. Oh yeah. We'll have to answer in order to see the promises of God manifested through us, because in Absolutely. every promise of God, that question uh, is in the undercurrent mm -hmm. of every promise from God. Yes, it is. Ultimately, you're going to to face that question. Is there anything too hard? That's right. For God, and you're gonna to have to answer. You got to answer it, and your answer to it is going to determine whether or not the wonder-working power of God can flow through your life or not. Wow. So let's let's get into this this week. Uh, we're going to continue in this topic. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? And we're going to talk to you about the power of working with God. Can we ask God's the blessing? Power the power of working with God, absolutely. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity as we prepare to minister the word of God to your people. Father God, we thank you for yes. ministering power, ministry mm, ability. Thank you, Jesus. Dexterity to communicate yes. uh, and to be specific and clear in our thoughts. And Father, we thank you for the yes. anointing on the people to hear, mm. to hear clearly yeah, to what the Spirit of the Lord is saying yeah. and that they might understand and be able to have right, proper comprehension of the Word of God so they can make application. Yes. And and see fruit as a result yes. of having heard the word of God. We thank you for the presence of the Holy Spirit. We invite him in now to do what only he can do. In Jesus' name, In Jesus' amen. name, amen. So God is looking for a channel. Yes. Or you could say a vessel. A vessel. Or, or uh, let's put it in the... Uh, the electrical current world, mm -hmm. uh, uh, a conduit, a conduit. Yes. That's the word, a <laughs> conduit. It's all the same thing. Yeah. A channel, a vessel, a conduit. He is looking for, you know, the scripture says he's always looking. Mm. The Bible says the eyes of the Lord are running to, to and, and fro throughout, throughout, throughout the, earth. the earth. He's always looking for looking. someone. He can show himself favorable. Yeah. It's strong, on, strong their behalf, on their behalf or in their behalf, inside wow. of them. Wow. He's looking to get a channel. Mm. A vessel, uh, a human being, basically, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, to bring his will yeah. to pass in the earth. God's got an agenda. He's got Come a will. On. He's got a purpose. He's got a plan. He's got one for you. That's the reason why you're alive and still breathing Come right on. now. Come it's on. because he's got a purpose and he's got a plan for you. Listen, in history. Come on. Now, when we say history, I will, let's break that up into his story. His story. God <laughs> wants to tell his story yes, yes, yes. through your life. Come on. He wants to continue telling mm, his my, story my, my. through your life. Just like he told it through Abraham's life. He told it through Sarah's life. He told it through all the other patriarchs of faith's life. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you got grandparents uh, or great grandparents or mama or daddy. And, and, and you've watched God use them mightily. He wants to continue that same story. Come on. Through you. Through you. Through you. So God is always looking for a channel or a vessel to bring his will to pass in the earth to continue telling his, his story, story in the 
earth. Okay. He wants someone that will help him to get that job done, to get his work done in the earth, yes. in the earth. Yes, yes. You know, when Jesus, the disciples said, Jesus, teach us how to pray. And we know the Lord's prayer. But do you know one of the, the I believe the highest prayer that you can pray is a part of that prayer. Mm -hmm. Jesus says to pray this, pray, Lord, your kingdom come, mm. your will be done mm -hmm. on earth earth yeah. as it is in heaven. Yeah. And so God, the desire of God, the father is that he wants his will to come to pass in the earth. You know, I think one of the most important words in that mm -hmm. passage that mm -hmm. you just uh, quoted, let your kingdom come, let, let your will, wow. let is, let is the most powerful word Come on now. to me. It is Yeah. because let, uh, it, it means we have something to do with the Absolutely. will of God yeah. happening in the earth. Yeah. The kingdom of God coming to the earth. Ooh, that's good. Because we say, when you say let something be, that means you have some type of power or authority yeah. either to assist in that happening Come on now. or to uh, hinder that from happening. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. You let. can permit it or you can, you can permit it. forbid it. Ooh, my, in my, you. My. In you. That's so he good. can, he can want to use, you could be God's desire for his kingdom, uh, to, to, to flow through you mm. into the earth. Mm -hmm. Right. But we, our wheels have to, we have to let it be. Got to let it be. You, you, you can choose not to let it be. Yeah. You have to let it be because you, he won't take your will from you. Yeah. You've got to let it be. And so God is always looking for a vessel, a conduit, mm. uh, 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 a channel mm -hmm. to bring his will. And I'm telling you, when I say that, when you say the will of God, I don't know about you, but everything about mm. God's will is good. My, my, my. Everything God wants to do to you, for you and through you. I promise you, you it's want good. it. It's good. The end result of it is good. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. <laughs> the end result of it. You're going to love it. Come you're going to love it. You're going to love it. And so he's always looking and he's chosen to partner with, with, with man to get his will done in the earth. But, but here's the question um, that I want to pose. If this is the, if what God desires, what, what blocks the way? Mm. Wow. You know, what trips us up? What short circuits the promises of God from flowing through us? Wow. What, what short circuits our faith? Yeah. Yeah. You know, to short circuit something means it, it's, 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 you know, if something has a, will you explain what a short circuit is? You probably can explain <laughs> a short circuit better than I can. Uh, uh, you know, it just means that there's not a continuous flow. That's something has that the flow the has inter has, has been, been interrupted. Inter that's good, man. That the flow has been interrupted. The, wow, the flow has been interrupted. And so what's interrupting the flow of faith? Come on now. That's required. Come on. For you to get involved, for you to partner with God. Yeah. Uh, on uh, allowing his will to happen in yeah, the earth. Absolutely. To happen in your life, to happen yeah. in your family, in your marriage. Right, right. Well, if I may be permitted to answer that question, mm -hmm. I believe it's our humanity. Yeah. Humanity is what short circuits wow. our faith. Yeah. It's what uh, gets in the way of the flow. It's right. what interrupts the flow. Yeah. It's too much focus on our humanity, on our limitations. Yeah. And by humanity, you mean our human limitations. Human limitations. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Human inability. Human inability. Human uh, 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 flaws. Flaws. Failures. Or our human limitations in terms of uh, uh, God's, you know, God's, he says his thoughts are higher than our mm -hmm, thoughts. His ways mm -hmm, are higher than our mm -hmm. ways. That means that our human understanding can be limited. Mm. We can only understand wow. on a certain level in our humanity. We receive alone. to the degree of our understanding. Yeah. yeah. And so our humanity, your humanity actually represents your, your limitations. Wow. You know, your humanity, your humanity, it represents your limitations. So we want to say what gets in the way is human limitations. Human limitations. When we, oh, thank you, Lord. Too much focus on the flesh. I just heard this. What's that? When, when, when humans, uh, I lost the thought. Uh oh. But, but when humans basically get focused on their own, on, on themselves. Yeah. 
Yeah, too and much, on their limitations. Too much focus yeah. on self. Yeah, too much focus on, on self, on you, your limitations. You become limited by your humanity, limited yeah. by only that which you can understand, you, limited by only that which you can do, mm -hmm. limited only that Ooh, by, on. by the natural senses or what we call carnality, mm. okay? Mm. Mm. The carnal mind. The carnal mind is not just the, your sinful mind. No, the carnal mind is that, that mind uh, that can only understand or relate with that which it can sense. Mm. See, touch, hear, <laughs> smell, whatever the other sense mm -hmm. is. Okay, mm -hmm. that, that's the carnal mind. It's yeah. the carnal mind that can only relate with, with, with that which it can sense in the yeah. natural realm. Yeah, that's your carnal mind. That's okay? right. That's right. And so we, 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 when we, when we, that's when we even think that's all we've got is that mind. Wow. You know, it, it gets, it limits us. And sometimes the promises of God are so big, so huge, they come and they hit our carnal mind. So if our education level can't accomplish, come it, on, that's good. If, if, if our wealth level can't accomplish it. See, 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 this your is really, skill, if, your skill if our skill level. set can't accomplish it, Come on. this is really, uh, uh, really thinking more highly of ourself Come on than now. we are. Than we are. The Bible doesn't say don't think highly of yourself. It says don't think more highly of yourself right. than what you are. Right. Th th there, there are opportunities where we can put too much of a premium. Come on now. On self. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and they will. That and we know that can even lead into what we call humanism. Humanism. It's all about where it's it's about. The, it's an exaltation of, of self of the self. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And so uh, another human limitation is you think you're only human. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Now you are human. Now that's powerful. And you are natural and you are flesh and blood. But when you think that's all you are, that is an extreme limitation. And the promises of God, mm. the will of God, are, that's going to short circuit. Wow. You won't be able. That's so good. Okay. To get the pro God won't be able to get his promises mm. um, through you because you think you're only human. Yeah. Okay. And you are human, but you are more than human. <laughs> Okay, especially those of you who are born again. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, for that which is born of the flesh is, is flesh. flesh. That which is born of the spirit is, is spirit. spirit. Yes, so yes. if you've been born of the spirit, you are more than flesh. Yeah. You are also spirit. spirit. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You have more than a carnal mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. You now have, you know, you don't have more than just the conscious mind. Mm. You have now what we call a super conscious super mind, conscious. the mind wow. of Christ. Wow. You can perceive and understand and operate in a spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. And so, so it's important that we build up that part of our identity and yeah. become familiar yeah. with the spirit life. That's right. Right. Yeah. And and this is this is this is how the promises of God can flow through mm. us. So case in point of this, when the promises of God run into human limitations, <laughs> we talked last week real quickly. We will just do a little review on Sarah, Sarah, the wife of Abraham. Mm -hmm. And so in Genesis, the 18th chapter, it tells a story of when uh, uh, three men show up on Abraham's property one day and those three men our God. Yeah, right. Okay. They basically, because the scripture refers to those three men, they manifested as three men, but the scripture refers to those three men as the Lord. Mm -hmm. Okay. We believe that was, that's the manifestation of father, mm -hmm. son, Holy ghost. Yeah. That's the us that said, let us make man in our image and our likeness. The Godhead yeah. comes and, and shows up. God on, showed up on Abraham's property. To get involved. To get involved. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To choose to get because he wants to, he wanted he wanted to, to get, get Abram and Sarah involved. Exactly. In bringing his, his story, wow. his will to the earth. My God. And so uh, anyway, the, they come and they basically speak a powerful promise to mm. Abraham again. Mm. Speak this powerful promise to Abraham, very specific and says, he asked, where is your wife? Abraham said, my wife is in the tent. And he says, this time next year, when we return, Sarah will have a son. Wow. Sarah is in the tent. She overhears the intentionally overhears <laughs> the conversation <laughs> and she laughs to herself. She chuckles to herself and she says within herself, the scripture says, <laughs> 
am, is Sarah at this age and stage, I'm old, I'm worn out, shall I receive pleasure? Shall I have pleasure? Shall I have a son? I'm old and I'm worn out. And so the Lord, question, basically, she asked a question. Will I receive pleasure at this age and stage of my life? She was around 90 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when she was a young woman, she was barren. So yeah. surely if she was barren and hadn't, couldn't have a child when she was a young woman, yeah. certainly at 90, that's over with and done. Mm. Right. So, so the, she asked a question, will I, you know, as she laughs, cause she said, it sounds like a joke. Mm -hmm. Will I at this age and stage looking at her, her human condition, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. her human limitation receive or have pleasure or have a son. And then the Lord asked her a question. A powerful question. Yeah. He asked her a question. He said, is there anything too hard? for God. My God. And so her human limitation uh, uh, had to, it, that, that question, is there anything too hard for God? It lifted her eyes mm. up beyond her own ability, beyond her own limitation. Beyond yes. self. Beyond self. Yeah. Beyond the flesh. I'm telling you, if God's going to be able to Ooh. use you in any way to write his story, you gotta elevate. you've got to elevate beyond your human limitations. You've got to elevate beyond your human understanding. You've got to elevate beyond human doubt. You've got to elevate beyond your humanity. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're all are human. That's right. But we've got to tap. But thank God we are more than human. Ooh. Jesus said, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. We are more than human. We are spirit. Type there in the comment section. <laughs> I am spirit. I am spirit. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, but that which is born of the spirit is, is spirit. spirit. Type in the comment section, I am spirit. My God. And you not only have a mind, but I tell you this, according to the scriptures, you have the mind of Christ. Mm. You have the mind of Christ. And so you've got a super mind. You've got a super consciousness. Mm. And that's where the promises of God, that's the only part of you that can believe, receive, and birth mm. the promises of God. You know, a scripture that, that just crossed my mind, not, not to get us off track, but I, I think we so quickly make excuses yeah. for our limitations. Yeah. And we take a scripture out of the Bible, like the scripture I'm getting ready to reference, to be a crutch for us. Mm. Like you often hear people say, his ways are higher than our ways. Yeah. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Yeah. Well, that's true. Wow. But what that's referencing is our flesh, our, our, our ways, thoughts. Yeah. our human thoughts. Yeah. But the Bible says that we are spirit, our reborn again spirit yeah, man, yeah. we have the mind of Christ uh, yeah. right now. Yeah. yeah. And so and just we know like all you, things, the scripture and says. we know all things. Yeah, yeah. We and have so we to all of so that. we can tap into the mind of God. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. He will he will let us know what his will is. Absolutely. Yeah. We can believe, we can receive the promises of God, not with the carnal mind, but they are through through your your redeemed mind, your born again mind, your super, your, your your super consciousness. Come on. Okay, through that, through your spirit, mm. and you, 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 through your spirit. Mm. You know, even babies can under can can. Uh, you know, you can see babies that can relate to God. Sometimes mm -hmm. even more so than than adults. Sure, can. sure, yeah, right, yeah, uh, because we are spirit. We are spirit, and we can re we can understand spiritual things. The promises of God are spiritual. Things. It's spiritual. It's spiritual. That's right. These are spiritual things that we can believe and receive. Through spiritual that. reality yeah. yet to be manifested. Yet to be manifested. In the natural realm. Yeah, there's spiritual realities yet to be manifested in the natural realm. And so God, I believe when he asked her that question, is there anything too hard for God? Yeah, you just talked about what's too hard for you, Sarah, because you're old. Mm. But is there anything too hard for God? My God. My God. And I believe that lifted her mind up. It got, got her thoughts, uh, awareness off of her. Her limitations, mm -hmm. being old and barren and, and God's, dried up, and on God's ability, and then it lifted her up to the, her super consciousness, Ooh. the consciousness of God. Hey, come on! And His power, which is totally unlimited, mm. is there anything too hard for God? All right, we got, we got another. Uh, <laughs> we got another woman, woman in the Bible. We're gonna talk about today. We got we got another woman uh, who also carried the promise. Yeah. And, and, and here, as I think about Sarah now, see, we talk about the significance of Mary and Mary is very significant in 
the whole history of our Christian lineage, if you will. Hey, Sarah? Uh, 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 no, I Mary. mean Mary. Okay, okay, Mary gotcha. was. We're talking about Mary, okay. But Sarah was carried just as much significance. Mm. This is why I say that. The Bible says that uh, the promise was made to Abraham's seed. Yeah. Seed. Without Isaac, there would be no Jesus. That's, wow. That's so good. if Abraham had, would have never been able to release his faith and yeah. Sarah been able to release their faith yeah. for the promise of God to be uh, 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 to come through their womb and their loins. Yeah. There would have never been a Jesus. Wow. And so we we get to the story of Mary, the immaculate conception, because of what you just went over in Genesis 18. Come on now. Because of Sarah. Wow. You could be holding up somebody Ooh. else's promise. <laughs> the promise that you're not tapping into the promise that you're not allowing to happen in the earth because you are not partnering with God. Yeah. You either don't understand how to partner or you are refused to partner yeah. with God. Come you could be now. holding up somebody else's promise. You are. You are holding up somebody else's promise. You are. You must take your place Ooh. in his story. Come on. Yeah. It's not a, you might be. No, you, you are. are. And so. Yeah. Yes, we we're going to focus on another story of a woman who uh, bore the promise of God, mm. uh, the promise, My Mary, God, the ultimate, the promise. ultimate promise. My God. And and we find this story in Luke chapter one, in Luke chapter one, verse verse 30. If, if you'll go there with me and I just want to read a few of the following verses, it says I'm reading out of the uh, king out of the new King James version. It says. Then the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth <laughs> a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the highest. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. Verse 34. Then Mary said to the angel, how can this be since I do not know a man? Mm. That's also translated since I am a virgin. Right. And the angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power, the power. Power, the glory, the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also that holy one who is to be born will be called the son of God. Verse 36. Now, indeed, Elizabeth, this is still the angel talking to Mary. Now, indeed, Elizabeth, your relative has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. Mm. But listen to verse 37 for, for with, with God, God, there's a, there's an emphatic statement being made here for with God, nothing will be impossible. impossible. Now in Genesis 18, the Lord asks uh, Sarah, is there anything too hard for God to do? In other words, is there anything impossible? Yeah for God. Mm. But the angel makes a statement to Mary. He, he answers he the question. He answers the question. There is no question being asked. He answers the question and he says, Mary, for with God, nothing will be impossible. And then Mary, of course, in verse 38, she says, behold, your uh, maid servant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. The trans the passion translation says, yes, my Lord, I am your servant. I will be the mother of the Lord. Mm. She gave God her. Yes. I want to, I want to, I want to go back and I want to extrapolate out of this a little bit here, drill down into the text. Uh, we see in verse 30 where uh, the angel, he first spoke to Mary and he said, Number one, do not be afraid. Mm, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Oh my God. If you're going to partner Ooh, with God. Oh, that's so good. In getting his will into the earth supernaturally. Yeah. Because that's what it is. Yeah. It's supernatural. Yeah. 
uh, you're going to have to overcome fear. But you know what else I think why the angel is saying, do not be afraid. He's basically saying you have nothing to fear, Mary, Ooh. because see, when you are partnering with God, come on, let, what, who, what is there to what fear? What is there to fear? What is there to be afraid of? Who, you know, when God is for you, who, <laughs> who what, what can, can be, be against you? Against you. He is with you. There's no need to fear, Mary. Come on. He tells her there's no need to fear. And then he goes on to say, Mary, you have found favor with God. Yeah. I'm thinking, okay, that means she's in God's uh, good graces yeah, or yeah. she's found favor with God that, you know, you know, when you find favor with somebody, that means, you know, you know, you go to a place and you say, I know you, you start throwing around names. You yeah, say, yeah, oh, yeah. I know Jeanette. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Oh, oh, you know, Pastor Jeanette. Okay. Well, we're going to seat you here. That yeah. means you found favor. Wow. Uh -huh. Okay. That's not this type of favor that the angel is talking about uh -huh. here. I, I went back and I saw that word in the original Greek and it is literally translated grace says, Mary, you have found grace, watch this, or divine influence. Mm. Mary, you have received divine influence. That means God, you have received God's ability. Yeah. Then he went on to tell her the promise. Yeah. He tells her before he shares the promise, he says, don't fear. And this is why you don't have to fear because God is with you. <laughs> That's you have good. God's power. But you know, you, you're talking about this divine influence. <laughs> what, she, what he is saying is God is giving you influence with him. <laughs> and I'm just thinking, look at what she's being called to be. The mother, the mother. of God made Ooh, flesh. Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> now, mm. you anybody, I have never raised a son. Yeah. But I imagine if from what the I. I I'll be honest with you, I'm a, I envy when I see women, <laughs> you know, and their sons. I, right. I've never had the love of a son like that. They love their mamas to death. Oh, sons I'm love waiting their mamas, I'm waiting man. on my grandsons. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait for my grandsons. They're going to love grandmother. <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, but 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 I see this influence that mm -hmm. most moms or any decent mom has over her son. <laughs> It's a crazy influence. Mm. And that's why, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, at the first miracle, she told the men at the wedding, she says, Jesus do whatever act, he tell you no, to do. No, Jesus act like he wasn't going to go perform the miracle. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. He said, my time has not come yet, woman. I'm she, not doing that. She didn't pay no attention she to that. She paid no attention to him. She <laughs> says, whatever my son says, do, do it. <laughs> do it. Because she had influence with God made In other flesh. words, boy, you're going to do what I tell you yeah, to do. Yeah, but she had that level of power. Yes. You know what kind of power that, that mother Mary walked in. Yes. So when he says, uh, God is giving you a divine influence. Oh. You get ready see to that, have babe. some major influence. I, You're going to be able to command the that. miracles you of God. You need to see yourself right. Yes. you got influence with You've got influence the creator of the universe. When you get partnered up Woo! with him. When you, when you say yes him. to him. Oh, my God. It's not just you're at his command. What if he's also at your oh command? Oh, my God. My God. And then he gives her the promise. He says, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. Yeah, Yeshua. Yeshua the Savior. Christ. Yeah. Savior. Listen, healer, deliverer. Yeah. Then in verse 36, the angel, he's saying, indeed, Elizabeth, your relative has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who had, who was called barren. And then he goes on to make an emphatic statement. Mm. He says, for with, with, with oh, God. hold on Come before on. we finish. For with, <laughs> come on, type that in the comment section. With God. With God. With God. Come on, type that. Everybody type with in there, God. with God. With God. With For God. with God. Come on now. Uh, he could have said, for by God. Yeah. All things are possible. Yeah, or through God. Or through or God. Whatever. But yeah. no, he said, with God. In other words, when you partner with God, all things. All things. Whatever he tell you. Yeah. You better believe it's possible. Yeah. It's got some possibility behind Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And and so, man, I'm all shook up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm not even paying any attention to our notes, but but uh so 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 Mary here, Mary, she gives God her yes. Yeah. She gives 
the, the Lord, her yes. She says, yes, Lord, I am your servant. Mm. She says, watch this. She says, I will be. Yeah. That's a powerful statement. Yeah. I will. Yeah. Mary, she's, she's making an emphatic yeah. statement. You got to do self-talk. Come you on You got to align your mouth. Faith, faith, you cannot walk in faith until you align your mouth with your heart. Absolutely. The Bible says in Romans, I believe Romans 10, yeah. it says that if you what? If you confess with, with your, your mouth, mouth what you believe in, in your heart, heart you will God. experience salvation. Yeah. And that's the same transaction with everything. It's the same transaction. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's the same transaction. So, so she aligned her mouth with what had already res registered in her heart. Yeah. She says, I will. See, after God says you will, then you <laughs> must turn around <laughs> and say, I will. Yeah. You must say what God said. You must say what God and said. And Mary said, she started to say what God said. Yeah. And the more she said it, the more it began, she began to become what she was saying. Yeah. Hallelujah. Absolutely. And so, man, time flies when you're having fun, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's. Let's put a bow on top of this. So, so the angel asked Sarah a question in, in Genesis 18. What was the question? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? But look at God. He turned around and answered the question. Through Mary. Through Mary. And he said to Mary, what did he tell Mary? For with God. For with God. All things are for possible. with. Now, we can't miss that part. With God. For with God, all things are possible. Mary, she answered, be it unto me. To your will. She said yes. Right in that comment section, say yes to God. Yeah. Say yes to God. What does it look like to partner with God, sweetheart? Yeah. Well, what let's go to like? Romans 4. Verses yeah. 1 oh, to 3. Lord. Oh, Lord. Romans, Romans 4. That's powerful. Rom Romans 4. And I want to read this from the Message Bible yeah. translation. It says, by entering through faith. This is talking about Abraham. Mm-hmm. By entering through faith into what God has always wanted to do for us, set us right with him, make us fit for him. We have it all together with God because of our master, Jesus. And that's not all. We throw open our doors to God. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, like I thought that didn't right. sound right. Uh, that's actually Romans five, but but it was sounding good. So how do we fit what we know of Abraham, our first father in the faith, into this new way of looking at things? That's a question. How do we fit? How do we fit uh, what we know of Abraham, him being the first father of, of uh, in the faith, into this new way of looking at things? If Abraham, by what he did for God, got God to approve him, could he could have certainly have taken credit for it. So if it was his actions mm -hmm. that was making him right with God, he could have took credit for it. Mm -hmm. So therefore, this is saying it wasn't about Abraham's action. It was about his faith. faith. Yeah. Watch this. And then it says, but the story we're given is a God story. Mm. Watch this. Not an Abraham story. Come on. It wasn't a self story. See, God wants to tell his God story. God wants to tell his story. Yeah. Say it was a God story, not an Abraham story. Come on now. What we read in scripture is Abraham, watch this, entered into what God was doing. What does that sound like to you? He surrendered to the will of God. <laughs> he got involved in what God wanted. Sounds like partnership to me. Partnership. Yes. It says, and Abraham entered into what God was doing for him, and that was the turning point in his life. Yeah, he partnered up with God. He was facing limitation. He was facing inability in his own loins. Yeah. Weakness in his own body. Yeah. Limitations in his own scope of what he thought he could understanding, accomplish. Understanding, yeah. In his own understanding. But when he got involved with what God was doing, yeah, he partnered up with when God. he partnered up with God through faith, through faith, Woo! it says that sweetheart was the turning point. Yeah, that was a turn. So so what does it mean to partner with God? Well, well, Abraham just shows for number one, it means saying yes. Saying first, yes. first understanding, hearing, knowing the word, word of God, saying yes to whatever that thing is, that big, huge thing that, 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 uh, 
that you can see that it's the will of God is what God wants, but perhaps it's just meeting your, your, you can't understand it right Come now. On. You, it, it doesn't make sense to you right now. It's just running up against your carnality mm. or your mm. limited mm. understanding mm. in the flesh My right God. now. It did the same thing for Sarah. It did the same thing for Mary. Yeah. But at some point they, 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 they said, yes, they said, yes. They said yes. They My said God. yes. They reached beyond Ooh. their human limitation and they just said, they said yes. yes. You don't have to understand everything. Mm. They said yes. And then they 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 partnered up with him. They you know, a partnership is this. A partnership is this. Is that uh if I were looking for a partner right now, I would not be looking for someone with my strengths. Mm, come on. I would be looking for someone that with with that can cover my weaknesses. Come on. Come I would on. be looking for someone who who has a strength for my weakness mm. and I have a strength for their, for weakness. their weakness. That's a, partnership and together you're consummate or 100 percent together Come you're on. whole together you get the job done Come on. and so god when god is looking for someone to partner with him mm. i don't want you to think about getting god involved necessarily in your in what situation you're doing i want you to get the here's the higher god understanding is recruiting us. god is recruiting you <laughs> He wants to partner with you. Yes. He wants to partner with you. He wants to get you involved in what he wants to accomplish. What he wants to accomplish through you. Mm, mm, That's mm. what he wants to do. And it's much bigger than anything that you're thinking you want or you desire right now. That is so good. It's much bigger. My it's God. much bigger. My God. Okay. And so, and so what are some areas we can partner yeah. with God in? Well, number one, first thing comes to me is, you know, most of us uh, right now, we, do, you know, if you do a survey, most people are very extremely challenged in their money. Absolutely. But God Absolutely. has a clear plan. Come on. He speaks concerning. He is God of abundance. The cattle on a thousand hills belongs to him. Come on. Everything. Everything. Is his. Is his. Christ said, I came that you would have life Jesus. and that more abundantly. My God. The Bible, uh, the, 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 the Bible has no struggle whatsoever. Ever Jesus. with abundance and Come wealth on. and all of your needs being met Come according on. to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Mm. But it also mm. invites us into partnership. Ooh. Come on. If we get uh, our money in partnership get with, it, the, will partner God, with the, the will of God, the kingdom of God, get your money in the kingdom. Okay, so that's one area. That's, yeah, absolutely. Marriage is not man's idea. Ooh. It's God's idea. I personally believe no marriage really can thrive for a lifetime Come without on. getting partnered up. Come on. With God. You got to get your marriage partnered up with what God wants to accomplish. Yeah. Not just through your marriage. Yeah. But, or, or for your marriage, Come rather. Now. But through but your through marriage. through your marriage. In the earth. In the earth. My God. Yeah. Uh, uh. Uh, of course, if you're over a ministry, oh my God, you know, you've got to partner up with the God. If the oh ministry has come up, become all about you. Come on, come on, come on. What this, you want. This is not a you story. Your way, this, this is, is a yeah, God story. Your church, your ministry. If it's a you story, mm, you mm, got to come mm. into right partnership with my God. God. Parenting. Oh God. Parenting. Jesus. You know, Don't we know about that? Yeah. All every parent needs to be co-parenting. <laughs> and I'm not talking Ooh, about with your spouse. Talk about that, babe. Talk about every that. parent. I literally, when I pray for our chil our children, talk about that. I, I'm co-parenting with God. Mm, mm, and, and 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 that's literally the way I reference the father when I pray for our ch for our children. You say you know, these are not just my these kids, are, these are yours. These are your kids that you have given to, to, to me to store. And so, Father, help me. Part of, you know, just help me with that. This is this is we're doing this together. You know, that gives me hope having grown up in a single parent household. Yeah. That gives me hope for single mothers and single fathers that are raising children uh, by themselves. Right. That you are not. Yes, in the flesh, it looks as though you're ready. But when you partner with God in your parenting, yeah, he's their father. Oh, my father. God. He's their parent. Come on now. And so you got to you got to get God involved. Get God involved. In parenting your children. My God, God, my God, my God. My children shall be taught of the Lord. That's woo -hoo. Woo! and great shall be their understanding. 
disturb peace and composure. My God. Hallelujah. My goodness. My we, goodness. we speak that over our children every day. Yeah. <laughs> and what are we doing when we speak the word of God over them? We are getting God involved. Why? Because we got his word involved. Yeah. I believe our, our uh, second oldest, she was involved in what could have been easily mm -hmm. a catastrophic accident. Uh, and thank God she's still living to tell about it. Yeah. She has some bruises, aches and pains. And thank you all. Those of you that have reached out personally or directly or even indirectly to let us know that you're praying for for Bethany. But uh, I believe that even though we didn't hear the call when it came through, mm -hmm. I believe that it was what we had already been oh, speaking totally. over Absolutely. her that kept her. Yeah. So you got to You got to involve. See, this thing is real. This thing is not mythical. Yeah. This is not some yeah. some uh, uh, some make believe story that no, we're no, telling you. No, these this are is, realities. This, this yeah. is realities these that we realities. have lived. Absolutely. Hallelujah. You know, let me just say this because I got to say this to some parent. I, mm. I see that scripture differently. All my children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be the peace and undisturbed composure of yeah. my children. Yeah. 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 And in yeah. some of yeah. somebody I just sent somebody's ch child is in a mess right Ooh, now. Jesus. They're going through a struggle. And you're saying, well, you know, I've been declaring that over my child. Come on, or whatever. speak to it. Yeah, they're being taught of the Lord right speak now. Speak to it. Speak to it. Ain't no lesson like a bought lesson. Oh, my God. Let the Lord teach them. Come Especially on. if you are, if you have an, a, a child that's outside of your house mm. or they've gotten, you know, beyond your, you know, because when you're raising yeah. adult children, your child is an They've adult. gotten beyond your discipline. They've gotten beyond yeah. your discipline. Mm -hmm. Now they're being taught of the Lord. Of the Lord. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. That's so good. They're yeah. being taught of the Lord. So you yeah. keep making that declaration. They, you keep praying for them. There are entrepreneurs out there. They need to get God involved in their business. Yeah. They need to part. You need to partner your business with God. Come listen, on. Listen, uh, this is going to sound self-serving, but 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 if you are not tithing from your business, if you're not tithing from your business, God is, God is not involved in your business like he needs to be. Yeah, you, give need to, your, you need to get God involved. Give your that some of that profit that you are making. Give it a kingdom assignment. Give it I a kingdom dare assignment. You. I dare you to get you give your money. Come on, a kingdom assignment, a kingdom assignment. in your business. We know people and watch that are it doing increase. It. Oh gosh, I've oh, watched God's it for blessing years. their socks off. I watched people people do it for years and be blessed because they gave their money uh, a kingdom assignment mm. through their business. Yeah, not saying you don't have to give it all away. Right, right, no, no, right. But but you need to give a portion of it. You need it. to give a portion of it. Give it, give it a kingdom aside. Give it a mission. And a watch, kingdom mission. watch God bless uh, your business. I want to pray for your faith because that's what Jesus prayed for. He he prayed for Peter's faith. Yeah. Peter, who preached on the day of Pentecost mm -hmm. when the Holy Spirit fell upon the one twenty. And they and they all fell out into the streets and uh, Peter opened up his mouth and he began to speak to the crowd. They began to gather around and the Bible says 3000 people were added to the church that day. The same Peter that ran in cowardice and 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 denied Jesus three times. But but Peter, when the Holy Spirit came upon Peter and Peter surrendered to that and it was no longer about Peter. It was about it was God's story. Yeah. He entered into God's story. Yeah. I believe that was the turning point for Peter. Yeah. And and so Peter, he did things probably that he never even thought or considered that he would ever do. See, when you involve God with your faith, when you involve and when you get yourself involved through faith in his will, it's going to to bring you into some amazing doors. Yeah. It's going to oh, bring yes. you into some amazing opportunities. So I want to pray for your faith because Jesus prayed for Peter's faith. I don't care where you've been. You hear me and my wife say this often. I don't care where you've been. I don't care what you've done. Mm -hmm. And I don't care uh, where you are or where you are stuck. God has a plan for your life. And so I want to pray that your faith faith be revived that you may dream again that's what God invited Abraham to do is mm -hmm. to dream Abraham go outside look up at the stars he was elevating he was elevating him beyond his limitations yeah he was inviting him into his will and so I pray that your faith will fail you not
I pray that your faith, those of you that know Jesus, that your faith will be stirred up, that you will, you will stir up your faith. I hope this word that we minister to you today will stir up your faith. Yes. That you will, you will leave from this broadcast, whether you're watching it live or you're watching a rebroadcast of it. You will leave from this broadcast you and your faith will be reinvigorated to go and, and be involved and partner with God in his wonder working powers that he wants to see done here in the earth to reveal the will of God in the earth through you yes and so i thank you father i thank you for these amazing people your sons and daughters uh, under the sound of my voice that father they will begin involving you into their families they will mm -hmm. begin involving you into their homes into their into their parenting they will begin involving you into their into their marriages into their ministries into their businesses in jesus name even into their health yeah i see that yeah. there, there are some people that they're ailing right now in their physical bodies mm -hmm. uh i thank you father that they will begin in Involving you, they'll involve you your wisdom, what to eat and what not to eat, Father. They'll begin involving your healing power, your the the healing properties uh, that mm. you offer us. Yeah. I thank you, Father. The anointing is flowing right now for healing. Mm -hmm. So receive that healing. Point your hand at this camera and receive mm. that healing now. I say the anointing is flowing thank for you. healing now. Bodies are healing now. Limbs are healing now. Organs are healing now. Minds are healing now. I even hear that Holy Spirit. Hearts yes, are being sir. mended. Hearts yes, are healing. Yes. Relationships are healing. Yes. There's a healing anointing, but you got to get God involved. Yes. You got to say yes. You got to say no to your will. Yes. And you got to say yes to his will. Yes. No more my story. I'm not going to make myself more important than what myself should be. My Hallelujah. God. Yes. But I'm yes. going to say yes to God's will. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Those of yes. you that don't know Jesus Christ yes. as your Lord and Savior, yes. 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 you got to say yes. no to your way. And I'm inviting you into a supernatural life Come on. to experience the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Not just wait until you get to heaven, but in the Ooh, land of the in living. In the land of the living. Hallelujah. How do, I, mm. how do I partner with God? How Thank do I you, come Jesus. to Jesus through salvation? My you, God. You come to him through faith. My God. Not through a praying a prayer. We are going to pray a prayer in just a moment. But you got to believe. But, but you got to believe in yes. your heart. And you got to confess what you believe in your heart out of your mouth. Yes, yes, And yes. the Bible says if you do so, you, you shall, shall be saved. saved. So pray this Thank prayer with you, me Jesus. that we leave nobody out. Everybody pray this Thank prayer. You, Lord, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for salvation. I turn away. I turn away from my old life. From my old life. And I turn to you. And I turn. I ask to you to forgive me. I ask you to forgive of me of my sin. Of my sin. Today I confess. Today I confess that you are Lord. That Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Yeah. And Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is the Son of I God. I believe with all of my heart. I believe with all of my heart that Father God raised you from the grave. That Father God raised you from the grave for the forgiveness of my sin. For the forgiveness of my Sins. And that I might inherit eternal life. That I might inherit Lord eternal Jesus, life. come into my heart. Lord Jesus, come fill into my heart. heart up. Fill my heart. And now fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Christ Listen, Christ. if you prayed that prayer, I'm excited for you. I'm celebrating with you. The angels, the Bible says, in heaven are celebrating with you. Some of you, you prayed to be saved, to experience salvation. Some of you, you were backslidden, and when you prayed that prayer, you recommitted, you rededicated your life to mm -hmm. God. Some of you have been, uh, have, have stepped away from your faith because of your disappointments, because of maybe bitterness and resentment, maybe not seeing the promises of God activated and come to pass in your life. I'm telling you, I'm telling you to take back hold to that plow yes. and dream again, come back to God, come back into partnership with God. He's waiting with open arms, ready to receive you right now. He's not standing with a finger of judgment, pointing it at you. He's inviting you back into his will. He's inviting you back into partnership with him. So come back today. And if you need a spiritual community, a church home as we call it, to be connected to, to belong to, listen, you can belong here at the restoration place. We invite you 
to become a member my wife and I we would love to be your pastors whether it's if you want to become a virtual e-church member or if when we open back up the doors of our church which we, we, we will be doing Easter Sunday glory to God we'll be having in-person services you can become a member and be there in person to it to attend in-person services we love you we bless you listen I want to pray a, a, a quick prayer of blessing over you as we like to do every Sunday. I pray that the Lord will cause his face to shine upon you and your family. He will turn his face towards you so that you may experience his abundant peace. Now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide yes. with you now, today, henceforth, and guess what? Fight. Evermore. I speak those blessings upon you as you move throughout this week and and go and enjoy Holy Week. Hallelujah. And we bless God for Palm Sunday today. Walk in the blessings of God. We'll see you next Sunday, Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday. Be blessed, everybody. Bye-bye.